The Big Dipper is probably one of the most recognized constellations in our night sky. Not only is it extremely bright in our northern sky, but it also looks like a spoon. It's the name Big Dipper. To find the Big Dipper, all you have to do is face the northern direction. Once you have found north, during the spring season, the Big Dipper will rise kind of in the northeastern side. And as the season progresses, it will get higher and higher up into the night sky. There are seven stars in total that make up the Big Dipper, there are three stars that make up the handle part, and there are four stars that make up the spoon part. These stars are pretty bright, and they are spread out kind of over a large area of the night sky, so as long as you are facing north and it's not cloudy, and it is during the springtime or early summer, you should have a pretty easy time finding the Big Dipper. The Big Dipper is a signpost constellation, and what that means is that not only does it signal the beginning of springtime, but you can use it to help you find other constellations in the night sky. Now there's another constellation that is probably just as famous as the Big Dipper. It is the Little Dipper. Now to find the Little Dipper, you want to use the two edge stars to the Big Dipper, and they point to a very special star called Polaris. There is a handy phrase to help you remember this, and it is called Point to Polaris. Now Polaris is a very special star because it never seems to move from this location. It is our North Star, and if you were to fast forward time, all of the stars will seem to rotate around it. Now once we have found Polaris, we have found the end star to the handle of our Little Dipper. Now the Little Dipper, of course, is a little bit smaller than our Big Dipper but it's made up of the same amount of stars. We have three stars for the handle and four stars for the spoon part or the dipper part. So a long time ago, people did not have TV video games or stuff like that to keep them entertained. So they would go outside and watch the skies. They would connect the dots and create stories. So some of the interpretations for the big and little dipper are that they are a wagon, a plow, a spoon like I showed you in the beginning, and my most favorite interpretation by a kid is that it was a juice box with a really long straw. The Big Dipper and the Little Dipper actually have different names. So the Big Dipper is classified as an asterism and what that means is the Big Dipper is part of a larger constellation. And that larger constellation is called Ursa Major or the Big Bear and the Little Dipper is called Ursa Minor or the Little Bear. So you might notice that these two bears have long tails. So one of the stories I know for why that is, is Zeus, who is a Greek god, wanted to put some bears in the night sky. So he found those two friends, picked them up by their tails, swung them around his head, and tossed them into the night sky. And when he did that, it stretched out their tails.